Hi, this is Adam from ProCAD. Uh, I just want to show off the copy design functionality with Inventor files when involved. So if I right click on assembly, I have here combo assembly which has some associated parts listed below. Uh, the first two are library parts which come directly from the library over here and the remainder are parts which we've done up which are part of the designs folder. So if I right click here and select copy design, I'm greeted by this window here. Uh, this is the assembly and these are the parts that I, I have the option to copy. So suppose I want to create combo assembly number two which is a different variation on the first assembly. I would choose copy here which would tell uh, Vault to copy this particular assembly. But suppose additionally I want to change it for an, an additional s uh, a, s a second spring which I would call combo spring two so I can also tell it to copy this file. So what will happen here in this situation is uh, I'll get a copy of assembly and I will get a copy of the spring but I, will, I won't get a copy of these four other parts they will be reused from the first the assembly so over here I have a folder structure which is telling me where I'm making my copies uh, so if I wanted to create a new folder uh, I could right click on this assembly and choose copy 2 I can right click here and create a new folder sorry just down here and I call this combo assembly 2. So this is a new folder that's being created. Uh, this next tab over here is for numbering. So I want to call my combo assembly and my combo spring something else. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get rid of the prefix copy of unless you want to keep that. And I'm going to go to the end of this and just put a 2 and here as well so you can see them updated over here I now have combo assembly 2 and combo spring 2 and I'm reusing the other 4 uh, parts so if I go back here uh, this tab here is some has some additional functionality if you want to it's going to tell me what I'm copying so if I select copy up here I have the two parts that are being copied and these are the ones that I'm going to change this tab here for reuse, these are the four that I'm reusing, so if I were to make a change to one of these, it would affect both assembly one and assembly two. If I want to replace, I say I wanted a combo standoff here, and I wanted a, a different one that I already had in my vault, I could replace that with another one. And then exclude if I wanted if I wanted the entire assembly again, but without say the dial plate, I would exclude the dial plate. And remove an edit. So I will run this, and that has created the assembly, and then I'll close the wizard, and you will see here combo assembly 2, which has uh, all linked to all the same parts as combo assembly 1, except for the spring, which I have replaced with spring 2.